Welcome back everyone. Today is um, Thursday and we have Gospel from Mark, chapter 10, verses 17 through 27. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of this I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. In today's message we encounter a rich man who approaches Jesus Christ with a burning question. Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? The dialogue that upfolds between Jesus Christ and this man serves as a powerful lesson on the challenges of wealth the nature of surrender and the demands of discipleship. The man's question reflects a, a genuine desire for something beyond the material comforts he possesses. However, Jesus Christ in his wisdom discerns the obstacle that hinders this man's spiritual journey, his attachment to worldly riches. Jesus responds, Go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. The Lord's words echo not only to the rich young man, but resonate across the ages, challenging all of us to examine our attachments. The call to sell what one has and give to the poor is not merely about uh, redistributing wealth, but signifies a profound act of surrender, a detachment from the things that can distract us from God's kingdom. In the Byzantine tradition, the concept of kenosis or self-emptying is emphasized. A letting go of self-centered desires in order to be filled with the grace of God. The rich young man, however, 
uh, finds this call to demanding. He walks away sorrowful, unable to part with his great possessions. Jesus then reminds how hard it is for the one who has wealth to enter the kingdom of God. This is not an uh, indictment of wealth itself, but a recognition of the human tendency to rely on our own resources rather than placing our uh, complete trust in God. <clears throat> the challenge lies in our ability to prioritize the eternal over the uh, transient. The disciples witnessing this exchange are understandably uh, perplexed. They ask, then who can be saved? Jesus responds, for human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The message here is clear. Salvation is not achievable through our human efforts alone. It is a gift from God. Our response, however, requires a willingness to surrender, to let go of whatever um, impedes our journey uh, towards God's kingdom. As we reflect on today's message, let us consider the attachments in our lives. Those things, be they wealth, possessions, or even personal ambitions that may hinder our um, wholehearted pursuit of God. May we be willing, like the disciples, to surrender all to Jesus Christ, trusting in the possibility of God's transformative power. In our surrender, we find the freedom to follow Jesus Christ, entering into the kingdom of God with hearts that are open, humble, and receptive to the divine grace that makes all things possible. May the Holy Spirit guide us in our journey of surrender. And may we find true riches in the kingdom of God. I wish to everyone a wonderful day. May God bless you.